the initial beneficiaries, Mojuni Mathias and Dr. Kasheka Emmanuel, received irrigation equipment at a handover ceremony at the district headquarters. Now that we have got a system of irrigation, we expect them to increase production because they will be reliable water all the time. We appreciate the government, of appreciate stakeholders. We want the teams who have been disorganizing dismantling government projects. Be warned. This time we are, we are going to get you and you will you'll pay for all the costs which have, we have incurred. Otherwise we appeal to the community, people of Mbarara, please uh, come and express interest. This year we have already given 15, next year we shall give the 14 and the other year the program is still on. The program is part of the social economic transformation of Uganda and the government has contributed 75% of the total cost. For the first time, being introduced in Barara district, although it has been introduced in other districts. This scheme is very, very important. It is part of the socio-economic transformation of this country, of which His Excellency President Museven promised the country in 1986 at his inauguration ceremony at parliamentary building. Now, this phase now is actually targeting the rural poor. Barara district is a cattle corridor which normally faces a very long dry spell. And therefore it has been affecting our farmers, especially those engaged in agriculture, especially the coffee, uh, cattle pasture, uh, banana plantations, avocado, uh, mangoes and the rest. The Mbarara RDC warned against vandalism and theft of government property. It is so unfortunate that we have got elements in our society, negative elements, who have started vandalizing these, these, these equipment in the form of being stealing. However, as the head of security of this district, we have determined, we have already arrested some, and we are also going to be arrested others. And most of those who will be arrested, it will not actually be far-fetched if we prefer charges of treason, because this is economic sabotage, and uh, so long as we get elements of economic sabotage and an organized crime to vandalize this important project, then therefore we can even apply, we can even now apply treason charges on any culprit. The program will increase production and provide reliable water supply to farmers. So this program you are seeing here, the government of Uganda being helped by the World Bank funds, is giving each farmer 75% of the cost. And the farmer is required to contribute 25% as co-funding. Co that means we are bringing in that element of the contribution of the 25% because we want also the farmer to own his or her own program of this project. So as you can see here, these projects you are seeing here are going to benefit for only two farmers. Fifteen farmers will be supported in this in this financial year.